there everyone and welcome back to the cartoon mod and the Mardis Rebellion campaign series. So as I said last time I was gonna do some uh, fiddling around with uh, maybe giving them a territory and so forth to actually be able to hold this since it's one of the victory conditions. And I was able to do that. I gave them this province, then I declared war on them, took back this one, and so now they're stuck here, they're not at war with me, we've pacified them, they don't hold a region that is any longer any important, uh, so we have basically put them in quarantine, right here. So I haven't dis- so the reason why I'm destroying them, if you didn't watch the last video, was because uh, it crashed the game, so that's not doable. Um, but we want to continue this, and so we do what... Uh, basically, it's no longer Mardis Rebellion, it's the Ottoman Continuation War. I'm not entirely sure I rename the campaign, though. Uh, and so that has started. We have Kitchener here. Now, I wanted to avoid actually fighting the enemy at the fort, so I want to drag them out into a field battle. And so that's why Kitchener is actually trying to bypass this city and maybe going for Jaffa in Palestine or Jerusalem in Judea. Um, so we're going to try to bypass the Ottomans there. In the same time, as I said last time, uh, Wolsey has uh, landed on the Syrian coast. He has taken L Latakia up here. And he's holding that down. The problem is there is a quite high need for oppression because the religious unrest is very high in these regions. So it's nine points. Which means that Wolsey's army is slowly uh, getting sort of, they're getting stretched around. So he's, he's had to put six soldiers, six units up here. And then the rest of them are marched down here. And then the Ottomans strike, so they're actually sieging him at Hims. Um, but what I have going is we've got Chinese Gordon. He's out here, and he's going to bring with him some of the Sudanese fella. I'm hoping to recruit ten. I probably should recruit more. And they will just go up here, and so... Um, so they will be, s the Sudanese fellow will basically be set as garrison watch. Because the British troops are way too expensive in upkeep compared to the Sudanese fellow to just keep them as sort of holding down these provinces. Um, so that's what he's coming to do. He's probably going to actually join Wolsey and take command since Gordon is a better general. And so Wolsey might... Uh, take charge of something else. Maybe he'll take a smaller force of just cavalry and skirt around the enemy or try to attack, go for these places that are sort of out far in the desert which the Ottomans have taken from the Bedouins. Uh, something like that. And so I've given you the plan of what's going on. And yes, oh yes, uh, John Stewart, let's see, the colonel. Um, I actually moved him in to Kitchener's army right here. So, I mean, technically he died in that video. But the thing is, he's not actually a proper general unit. He's a, like, he's just a special infantry unit. So, he's kind of back. So, I guess he was just vo wounded in the last video. Even though we saw, like, Mardis put a spear through him. Like, straight through him, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Um... But yes, that is what go what's going on. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and have Wolsey defend Hims and see how well he does. So, this is going to be quite the difficult challenge compared to fighting the Mardis. Lots of the Mardis didn't use uh, guns, a lot of the Ottomans do, and they have artillery as well. In artillery, the oh, my army doesn't have artillery. Uh, one thing about our artillery was that it had quite short range. It might have had 600, but I, I'm, I'm sort of uh, think it is probably even maybe had less than that. But right, without further ado, let's go in to the defense of Hims in Syria. 
We have arrived on the field of battle and as we can see uh, my army is entrenched here in front of the city of Hims. Um, in th every single house here in town I've got these armed uh, citizenry ready to uh, defend these houses. One of which we cannot access so they're gonna have to move in afterwards but they're right here. Now, um, kind of look Napoleonic, but let's never mind, never mind that, never mind that. And then the cavalry and the general and so forth is spread out. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to first and foremost bring the general back. going to bring him back here to uh, get a better defensive position. And then I'm going to get my cavalry to get far off. And put your trudeck on! We're gonna get them far off here to the left, and the idea as the Ottomans advance, the cavalry will be able to swing around and attack their uh, their artillery, which has already started bombarding the cavalry. Uh, luckily for me, they haven't hit, they hit the hill instead. But that means they've got range all the way up to this point. And uh, yes, here's my infantry. Oh, they might are they they might be going for this house actually. I'm gonna tell the main line to actually hold fire. Because uh, we have had troubles with our troops running out of ammo. Well let's see where the shots are landing. What are they firing at? Yes, they are firing right here. So imagine they're trying to hit this. But for some reason, they're just targeting this piece of uh, piece of ground here. Let's see what th are the enemy up to? Are they advancing even? I'm pretty sure that it's the standard sort of Napoleonic tactic or Napoleon tactic that the enemy uses, where in which you don't attack until uh, you either have no artillery or until. Um, the enemy has an advantage in artillery. So we're gonna have to at attack these guys. Which means we're gonna have to go through all these cavalry units. Now I'm pretty confident that my cavalry will succeed because there's not that... The, the enemy units aren't that large but the enemy army is just nearby. The interesting thing with these boxes and sort of these uh, makeshift um, makeshift defensive line they've put up here they're ac they're actually the um, the anti-horse uh, defensive defenses so horses will die if they're under onto these oh the Azers are even putting up spikes or well, they were trying to at least for a little bit oh here comes my cavalry gonna tell them to hold fire because they have a tendency to shoot each other How's that gonna? Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, the the enemy, the Delhi horsemen, are coming attack us. We're gonna move behind as to not be in range of the enemy army. Probably gonna go through the forest actually. Move through the forest, and from here we're gonna be able to attack the Delhi horsemen. Oh, the Delhi! I think the Delhi horsemen are actually on the way. Turn to face the Delhi horseman. Yes, sir. Immediately. Yes, sir. Lances. Fire at will. And these lances will swing up in the flank. And these will retire. So these guys will be able to fire in the rear. Oh, they're charging. They weren't quick enough on the draw, th my lances. So let's see, quite heavy losses for my units, but the it looks like yeah, the Delhi horsemen were completely destroyed. Right, we need to be better prepared then because that we took a lot of losses, and we need to be able to. Uh, I mean, there's a lot more enemy horsemen left. 
Okay, let's go a bit more aggressive this time around. Chasing these Delhi horsemen. No fire at will. Second unit is going to come over here. There we go. A much, much better targeting this time around. And then this unit will hit them. And these will hit for a second time. Keep it up. Alright. Let's see if we can... Okay, th these guys are coming back now. Oh shit. Sounds of a charge. It's the Libyan... Kugulu-dugulu-dugulu. Nice, 21. The more or less... Ness, more or less, nothing left of these guys. Fire! Fire! 14. And the shatter, there we go. Right, hold your fire. Come into the forest and reload, and then you will charge up, fire, and then charge. I think if I if I tell my men to charge up quickly or ride up really quickly behind them, we'll be able to do this. Maybe I should have even brung Wolsey. He is basically the same unit. Forwards into the forest. Okay, so this is the lead unit and I'm gonna tell them to open fire right about now, which means they're gonna be able to fire. Oh, they only got five of them? The enemy, however, is just stationary right there. Is the, is the forest soaking up so many bullets? <laughs> oh no! Tuntru Chekchuru! What the crap are they doing? Nothing, that's what they're doing. Most of their unit is destroyed. Like, at, okay, at a, s at a trot, advance out of the forest and we will seize those guns. Or spike the guns. Right, the enemy is giving up their guns. I'm gonna give the smaller unit the target to charge it, kill the crew, and spike the guns. That will force the enemy. Oh look! Oh, he actually rode through it. Oh, yeah, he managed to uh, survive. Or uh, did? Oh, they were shattered. This should get the enemy moving, shouldn't it? But at the same time, right now it doesn't look like it. Right, we're going to have to f go out and face them then. Or are they moving now? No, they're just repositioning part of the line. They're firing back. We cannot stand against uh, a large amount of fire, so the cavalry will retire behind the hill. They got a few of them. But it doesn't look as though the enemy is planning planning to advance anytime soon. So we're gonna get the line to advance. Call a pawn! Put your tunic on! But sir, I have my tunic on. Bayonets, sir, bayonets. Who are you telling to be quiet? Oh. Well, the, the, the lad should be uh, more than well prepared at this point. We are at war, after all. The Azars. They're coming, they're closing in. And I imagine they tend to destroy my cavalry. You know what? Let's speed up the line's advance. They have Basiburuk and stuff. 
crap units. Let's come in an angle, forcing them to Are you questioning my right to redo their line. Wolsey will come down here. I would have needed the armed citizenry. What we're going to do here is I think we're going to quickly ride up to the crest. Oh, they're retreating just as I'm f moving forwards. We're going to ride up, ride up really close to them. Fire and charge in. No, we're not actually going to charge in because I'm pretty sure that the enemy will be able to uh, do quite a bit of damage to us if we actually charge in. So we're gonna break them by shooting them down. And also this caused the enemy to form this really strange kind of ish bubble formation. Which will be a perfect target for us to attack. Full speed ahead. Get to the position that I ordered you. One's there. Open fire. So the cavalry is still firing from up the position on the hill. Oh, the, re the enemy is returning fire. The cavalry will retire. And they will run. But it upset the enemy quite a bit. Their positioning. Okay, we're going to come back. Hit the enemy again. Okay, here they come. They're sending in the Basi Buruk. Which I, as I recall, they just... They were just more or less criminals. That were pushed together into regiments. Um, sort of like some sort of cannon fodder. Keep it up, lads. Fire through the... Fire through. Independent! Fire at will! The Basibaruk were all defeated and are broken and the, the enemy in the center are repositioning like complete idiots. Wolsey will hold his fire. The lines will do rapid advance towards the enemy and try to hit these guys. Oh shit, the uh, Azars are back. Cavalry will retire. And before the enemy lines, hopefully, are ready to fire back, they are actually firing back at this point. Keep it up. What are they firing for? They should be firing for the guys on the on the flank. This unit's actually taking quite heavy damage. The guys on the right are doing pretty well. The guys on the left, not so much. Oh, this unit's not even firing. These two will advance quickly. Okay, the enemy has realized we have superior firepower and they're retreating towards the top of the hill as the enemy retreats I will follow when I push hard damn it to chase them oh we have a Basi Buruk turning up cavalry oh cav both cavalry units are out of ammo at this point once the enemy reaches kind of reaches the hill behind there behind all the defensive positions I'll be able to hit them. Okay, the enemy is not intending to stop anytime soon, so we'll have to move even further up here on the hill. They might even be uh, trying to retire completely from the from the battle map at this point. And we can see a lot of them are just shattered in yeah, a lot of shattered units. I think cavalry charge into the mess could probably be enough to uh, 
unnerve the enemy to the point where the entire army here that's running away is will fall into a collapse. Because uh, my line infantry units won't be able to uh, reach the enemy in time. Oh, they just formed square. That will be... Hopefully give us time for the infantry to actually come close enough. For our men to uh, attack some of these units. Oh, that unit might be too heavy, but let's see. Right, the cavalry will retire. There's not a lot of men left within those two units. But I think we've given the infantry enough time to come within range and to open up on these squares, the two squares that the Ottomans have formed. And you can imagine what happens when you have the Martini Henry rifle being fired at squares at this kind of range. It's not a pretty sight. Let's get these two up on the hill. Seemingly a lot of bullets are being just catched by the, the forest. Okay, come up onto the hill. Yes, it looks like they've decided to retire completely from the uh, from the battlefield here. Oh, these guys are stopping to form square. Ooh, that's that's not a particularly good plan, as the forty-second uh, foot is following. This is not going to go well for these guys. They're immediately chattered at the first volley. And then, oh, look at the amount of casualties here. Oh, no. Poor fellows. Let's see, there's two of them left. The officer was left in the bushes. He could he could just be hiding. He could just be hiding. Oh wait, I think I see his red tunic. But let's just say he hid in the bush. I don't know. Good work though on the lads. They pushed out and destroyed the enemy. Right, so we have won the battle. Quit. Close victory. But Wolsey stays in command and the region has quite a good supply route. The only thing though is that the coastal region that I took, uh, the port there is destroyed. So I'm not entirely sure if we'll be able to get ammo and, um, ammo and more troops coming in until uh, Gordon turns up. So uh, that'll be interesting to see. But uh, given the amount of time... I'm trying to keep these kind of short. Um, I, I think this will be it for this one. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.